Welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. I hadn't really done anything after I uh, finished the Fantilia battle, except for doing some continuous missions. Continuance missions. Jesus Christ, can't say that. Um, and so I need to uh, go to uh, the the epilogue or uh, what, what happened next after the Fantilia mission because I hadn't done that yet. So let, let's see what's going on here. Let's not give ourselves away and make sure where Kafka is first. Uh, head to the seat of Divine Foresight to ask about the situation. Would you like me to relay your message? May I ask, have you come here to the seat of Divine Foresight on any official business? I can help you pass it on. Uh, I'm just passing by. I want to see the seat of Divine Foresight. I don't know where Kafka is, so I, I just want to go to the Divine Foresight. Could you please wait here a moment? I'll go and report in for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait a moment. I'll wait several moments. Let, 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 let's go take a look. Eh. Sometime later, you arrive at the seat of Divine Foresight to check Can on everything. wait a little moment? The Master Diviner will be here soon. She's temporarily taken on the General's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she must make the current situation known and fortify public spirit. This is her first real test as a General. I hope she can get used to things quickly. I hope so, too. I don't think I can ever get used to this. Oh, really? Hey, Don Hung uh, lo looks like how he did. He, he looks the same now. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. It's Colling a pleasure to see you, too. And losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. Submitting battle reports to the six charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said, the highest throne faces the strongest wins. Absolutely. I don't even remember what he was talking about. But you're enjoying yourself, right? Generalship is no trifling matter. Those trifling ass bitches. Myself? All I can do is get used to it. <laughs> hmm. I think she's huh. enjoying herself. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, I think Master she is. Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? <laughs> yes, yes, of course yes, not. she did. <laughs> On the contrary, I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as Acting General of the Law Fu. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion, it is time to reward you. Yay! I like rewards! Yay! The General promised... They're finally here! Yippee! Woohoo! Yes. The Astral Express has braved great evil for the Lafu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers... I'm getting a thumbnail. You are henceforth sworn oh. allies of the Lafu. Within the Lafu's jurisdiction... Yeah, thumbnail. You are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. Yay! Diplomatic protocol! Oh, wait, I'm supposed to do something. Uh, yes, the Astral Express is brave. Great evil of the Lafu. Your devotion is evident. Oh, okay. Cool. On behalf of the Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. On behalf of Jake, I thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible, then? Uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. Now that things have been expressed, I still have something to discuss with you. Uh-oh. Please. Uh-oh. Something else is happening. What, what are we doing? Why are, why are we walking this way? Do we have to? Uh, I want to talk to you no more. Oh, why do I have to go over here to talk to you? Why can't we just talk right there? Oh, seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? Well, duh, that's it's the whole point. The Stellaron Crisis, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion, the Arbor's Resurrection, mm -hmm. not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Lafu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. And I gotta do it's all just of it. That. I gotta do Having all of it, of, of course. I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me so that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. So you want me to deal with your problems? So, 
that's not my problem. Uh, I think we already have the gist. <laughs> I want to hear your problems. But as logical as things might I already seem, have an idea on your problems. There are still many details about which we're uncertain. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the Sea and Joe? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? I blame Dr. Ratio for everything now. How many disciples of still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. Yes. Yes, I'm we have. I'm submitting my report to the Alliance. And I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report. But for the sake of Jing Yuan, anything related to Sien Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. I was about to make um, the same request, Master Diviner. I Since the Arbor's you, resurrection, I I'm sure the Alliance will be poring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Apparently not. <sighs> Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around. Where's Don we'll Hung? Deal with them one I don't by see him. One. <sighs> Cloud Knight generals are all such a hassle. <laughs> Before you leave, apparently, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit. Feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Oh, if you pass through Starskiff Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukon. Uh, something Miss Ting Yuan left behind? <sighs> it was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took form, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. The Cloud Knights yeah, that was crazy. That was fan. absolutely she took it insane. With her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. I'm it might have been. <laughs> but yeah, that was crazy. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicassador may be a bleak one. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her foxy and Ken. Mm. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place. And I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. I understand. Leave it with us. Well, how about you go do that Thank and you, I'll Mr. take care Yang. of other things. Like, we, we, we got to multitask now, in this team. let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. It's quite the list. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. Okay, sounds good. I won't need you. Alright. Uh, fan with plain cart print. Okay, cool. I could investigate. Uh, head to the Palace of Astrum and give Yukong the item that has been entrusted to you. Optional. Plan for the future after discussions with your companions. Well, that's optional, but... Uh, okay. Let, let, let's discuss some come stuff. to a close for now. It's good that you came through unscathed. Thanks for looking out for me, Mr. Yang. What are we going to do next? The Master uh, thanks for looking asked out for us me. to pass on this item of Ting Yun's. I'll go to the Palace of Astrum and meet with Yu Kong. If neither of you has anything urgent, it'd be best if you came too. Everything is urgent. Uh, I have stuff to do. What's up, Marge? Why are you so upset? Or why did you look oh, so well, pensive? We had a lot of stumbles along the way, but we still managed to kick butt and save the law food without breaking a sweat. It feels kind of surreal. It was crazy. Maybe this was all fate. We're just mere puppets of the Stellaron Hunters. Uh, you don't yeah, fate. sound very happy. Nah, uh, I'm not happy. It I'm never seem happy. like the Stellaron Hunters are controlling everything, but we create our own future. No matter how powerful they are, they can't make a future that doesn't exist come true. Since mm, showing up, we've saved a lot of people they have time and avert travel. a disaster for the whole Stan show. Who cares whether someone or something was directing it? Be happy. No, I don't want to be happy. Being happy is for losers. What are your plans from Actually, here? Actually, I was wondering if Diviner Fu could do me a favor. 
the Why Matrix of Prescience has amazing powers and can iterate and reiterate Kafka's past. So it got me thinking, if I turned the Matrix on me, could it calculate my past? Maybe so. Maybe. Um, pretty smart. <laughs> yep. That's when pretty free, smart, March. Let's head over to the Divination Commission together and ask them for a favor. I don't want to. Shut up. Oh, here's hoping the Matrix oh, is uh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button! God damn it. Uh, Don Hung. Returning to the Lofu and Scale Gorge waterscape. Yeah, you transformed into something crazy. <sighs> it's a surreal feeling. I left so determined. <laughs> Who would have thought that circumstances would draw me back once more? I figured it would. It's not like the Zan Joe has done anything to you yet. How long do you plan on staying here? I'll be gone very soon. Jing Yuan is still recovering, and the Cloud Knights won't protect me anymore. It remains to be seen how the six charioteers will react to my presence. Oh, they're gonna lose their but shit. At least for now, I'm safe. Well, good. What are you gonna do next? I want to meet the current High Elder of the Vidyadara. It seems I won't be able to cast off Don Fong's negative karma. So I'd like to learn more about his past. I want to find out what I can do to make up for his sins. If you're planning mm. on an extended stay on the Lofu, I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. I'm sorry. Well, that sucks. I want Don Hung to work with me here. Plan for the future after discussions with your companions. Well, how do I plan for the future? I want to plan for the future. Okay. Well, let's, uh, I guess, I guess let's navigate to this next mission. Yeah, let, let's just teleport. Let's do it. Let's do the easy route because I don't feel like running all the way there. <laughs> Get some rest while you can and gather your strength. Oh, the optional mission is gone now. <laughs> well, I talked to them. I don't know what else I was supposed to do. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Before I do anything, head to the... Oh, okay. All right, whatever. It is what it is. What up? I got something to give you. Please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. I will. Our condolences, Hellmaster. Our condolences. You have guests. I shall take my leave. Yeah, get out of here. No one wants to talk to you. <clears throat> On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the law Fu from the Stellaron crisis. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm always here for you, boo. Madam Yukong must have heard about Miss Tingyun. Yes, I have heard. Why are we talking Seeing like she's four in third leave, person? Yet only three return. Was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. Uh oh. Miss Tingyun left this behind. Take it. Just take it. Take it away from me! Ting Yun. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? I know, it's crazy. How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise. What happened to the real Ting Yun? Uh, uh, she, she must have died. I'm sorry. I understand. Because I didn't see the body or anything. I think she died. I think she did. She did. Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. You're welcome. The Stellaron Crisis has you, cost boo. us too many comrades. Brothers, sisters, children. 
I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? Uh, I suppose. A soul if I have ceremony? to, a soul-soothing I ceremony. I need some terms. soothing of my soul. A funeral. You see, for long-life oh, species of the Xianzhou, death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. Mm. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. My time people has come. A short farewell, as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. Mm. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. So in other words, she did. It's we need a just funeral. To comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. Mm. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yun. I know. I'm selfish. Damn straight you, you are. You may not have died a cloud night. It's fine though. But you're still one your, of your us here friend at the died. You commission. you could be selfish if you want, a I guess. I don't caught care. caught up in a wider conflict. I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts. But at present, I... <sighs> this is the least I can do for her. I'd like to ask you all something. to witness this event with me. Uh... Uh, how can we I've help? I instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star scaff. I can probably this find to something. Us. We'll take care of it as per your wishes. I'm gonna leave a big pink dildo there on her grave. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony, and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Novalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. Good to know, I won't need you. All right. Sort through Ting Yun's things with Yan Ming. Yeah, let, let's let's go and like dig through her shit. Maybe there's something that I could take. You always did say that I like to gossip, and here I am rambling on, proving you right again. If only you were here to cut me off. It's all right, we got you. Or you could just cut yourself off. <laughs> cut yourself off, dumbass! Stupid, oh. stupid Me poopy too. head. For a moment, I thought she'd return. Did the Helm Master send you over? Yes. We're, We're supposed to, to take, take some Tim of her Yun's stuff. Things. Madam I'm Yukon take her wants things. to use some of them for her soul-soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please, take your time. There's two boxes. What do you mean it's all in this box? There's two freaking boxes. Okay, let's see what there is. I swear to God, if there's a big pink dildo, I'm gonna lose it. An <laughs> Amicacitor seal, a small box, a knife. I, I love that Hoyoverse didn't have the, the production available to, <laughs> you know, animate us going through the boxes. Looks like some kind of antique. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Oh, me? King Yun explained it's that cool. to me. It's cool. It looks cool. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. 
Good to know. There's also a note it. in the I'm, package. I want to keep it. This is I'm for gonna take you, it. Mr. Yen Ming. I'm going to steal it. Wishing Mine now. you fortune She's dead, and so, success in you know, every endeavor. It. Yen Ming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yoon. Oh, it's for you? Well, I want it. I'm, I'm going to sell it on eBay. I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. You simped long enough Jane and she got and you a gift. From different guilds. We were Keep that in mind, gamers. But also if you simp long comics. enough, something will happen for you. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. Oh. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. Oh, a violin that could shatter glass with its piercing <laughs> That's crazy. I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Just give it back to her. Just put it on her grave. It's fine. Just give huh. it back. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. You Could thought there so. Could be other things similar to what Yan Ming lie. got? We should take a look. Uh, I want to take a look in that There's box. There's nothing else except a handful of seeds. Ooh, handful of seeds. It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Well, let me think. Where have I seen that name before? Mm, I want to take a look I at the knife. I can't cook to save my life, but one thing I'm sure of is that's a kitchen knife. I've never I, seen I like her little rhyme there. Like I can't to cook to save my life, but it that's a kitchen knife. It gift that she never had time to send. There's an ad in the knife case. Spices Supreme. A room alley? Which store is that again? Uh, I want to take a this look at that bow. bow. It's a good bow. <laughs> it couldn't be meant for me. Could it? No, take it. Take it. Just take it. I'm sure you weren't the only archer she knew. All right, just kidding. Just take I'm it. Just trying to liven just, things up around here. Just take it. We should get going. Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? To your mom's house. Let's take them there. Uh, the seal, sleepless earl, kitchen knife, archery. Okay. Cool. Uh. Give the gift to Meng Ming, Ming from the Sleepless Earl. Arrive at Aram Alley. All right, let's go take these gifts there, and then let's go to this funeral. Ting Yun, oh my God, I'm so sad. Oh, you deserve so much better than this. <laughs> Ting Yun, why did Fantilia freak you up? Wait, why is March just standing there? What are you doing? Everything okay? March, can you help me translate something? Oh, oh yeah, I, I forgot I had a little doggy. To you. I've always been nice to cute little animals. This is my dog. Uh and why not me? I think I'm a better fit. That's all. Uh, never mind. You pompous bitch. No need to get offended. Oh. The first time we met Ting was during the Kafka hunt. I could tell there I can't was even hear it, but I can see it. It's raining outside. <laughs> Whenever he barked, I understood what he wanted to say. Oh wow, good for, for you. For example, woof 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 woof. Oh. Meaning, hello dear. I found a strange thing at the port of Cloudford. You may want to come and have a look for yourself. Mm, you got all that from a few woofs. Deeting can convey a lot of information with only a few sounds. Wow. So what did Ting find at the port? Come on, let's go check it out. No! I need to deliver gifts! I'm gonna deliver gifts, because that, that's what I was sent to do. I just wanted to see what you were doing just standing there. Menacingly! 
the sleepless earl. Yeah, the sleepless earl. That, Welcome that's, to the that's sleepless definitely what it's earl. called. I'm the owner here. The name's Ming Ming. How many of you are there? Which tea would you like today? I don't want tea. We're here on a gift giving errand for Miss Ting Yun. Oh, this is this is the tea Miss Ting Yun promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. Uh, sure. When I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia. That's and crazy. And imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. Miss mm -hmm. Team Yoon came to yeah, the tea house one day. people don't know about it, about so you gotta troubles. introduce it. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the CNJO had ever tasted. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Team Yoon today? Uh, she had to embark on another long yes. voyage. Now that the crisis gotta has lie. been averted and gotta the lie to them. resuming operations, there's no reason to get everybody upset. We gotta, we gotta do a few mis business, a few white lies. Commission. Out to other worlds. Oh, <clears throat> really? Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Well, hold on a sec. Okay. A few moments later, Meng Ming serves the tea she brewed. I hope it's good. If it's not, you're going to get a one-star review on Yelp. Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, <clears throat> and Dawn Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. I called it Ting Yoon's Blend. Oh, Seeing as that's she can't sweet. Enjoy right now, I'll have to invite all of you to try a cup. All right, uh, cool. New tea, Ting Yoon's Blend. That is so awesome. All right. Well, that was fun. All right, let's get over here to the Exalting Sanctum and go to this alley. <laughs> go into the strange alley. And gather your strength. No, I don't want to. I don't want to get any rest. Rest is for pussies. I do want this treasure though. Hmm. Hey, lots Into of treasure. Um. Okay, I'm at the alley. What am I supposed to do here? Is famous for its mung bean soda. All right, listen. Mung bean soda is a specialty aboard the Lafu and simply has to be tried. Yuck, sorry if it's offensive, but this stuff tastes like sewer water. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> How's it going? Did you take some Jing time K. off? See or, any more of the Sienjo? I don't remember how to say her name. Uh, have you heard of Spices Isn't Supreme? That the place on Aram Alley over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? No. No. Aram it's the Alley. Main commercial street in the Exalting Sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Well, let's get rid of the goddamn sure Stellaron so that way we can... Always head to Star Wars that way we can get Commercial Street Street going. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Whenever I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off... I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Mmm. That it, sounds disgusting. Up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. Mmm. Well, you, you still soda. have to work. You've got to give it a try. Uh, well, I was told that it tastes like sewer water, so no. Oh. Have I have I been here yet? I don't think I've been here yet. Have I been here? Oh, I didn't know I could zoom in on my character. That's crazy. Have, yeah, I don't think I've been here. Yeah, this is a whole new area. Wow. That's wild. Yeah, I'm gonna get a... Oh, shit. Hang on a minute, y'all. I'm gonna get my little teleport thing over here. And I'm gonna just quickly explore and see what the hell is happening. Yeah. Oh, that goes back to the Exalting Sanctum. Just on another side of it. Courier package. There are three delivery boxes piled up in the corners. You are a good person. You decide to take a look at where they are from and where they are going. Yes. A good person 
would go snooping through other people's packages. As you approach, the real I you realize that these old boxes are not actually courier parcels. There is a note on them that reads, Items for the Faith, Mass Theory, Experiment in large letters. You vaguely remember the concept of the Faith, Mass Theory. You believe it was Don Hung who taught you about it, but put simply, it states... I was reading that! The hell with it. I don't want to read it no more. It's all superstition. I'm not interested. No, I couldn't read what I wanted to read, so screw you, up yours. I can't go that way. Investigate. The area head is not available. Please return to the accessible area. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a message. My stepfather just got a new job. Congratulations. There's lots of treasure around here. If they can fit in my rucksack, I'm taking them. Yeah. Thank you, Lynx, for your colorful commentary. Hmm. Looks handy. Into the backpack. Oh, okay. Uh can't go anywhere over there yet. Did I just explore all of it? Yeah, I think, yeah, I did. I explored all of this area already. <laughs> That's crazy. I also want to go over to the shop and see what the hell they got. Or wait, no, this is the vending machine. Yeah, what's in the vending machine? Uh, mung bean soda. Give, give it all to me. Oh, nope, sold out. Uh, scale gorge spring water. Yeah, give me that. I got plenty of money. For all of it, I don't spend no money. Spices Supreme. Spices Supreme. Oh, yes. Welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? All of it. We're here to get on a gift-giving errand for Miss Ting Yun. <laughs> Something from Miss Ting Yun for me? Yes. She liked oh. you so much. Ah, oh, what a precious person she is. Ah, oh, a sweet thing like her gifting me a kitchen knife. You're welcome. When she first ate here, I'm such a good I person for delivering motto, it to you. You can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she Why mentioned didn't you she kick wanted her out? to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a... Ting Yun was apparently a really show. good person, and then Fantilia <sighs> fricked her Ms. up. Ting Yun is too kind. Damn you, Fantilia! Ali vendors hasn't been spoiled by oh, the generosity of Jesus. whistling flames. Stop raining now. <laughs> her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts... It's us who should be gifting her something. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Ting Yun must be real busy, right? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not gonna tell her. Miss Ting Yun we're just gonna keep lying. Herself away from work, so we've had to gift this on her behalf today. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Why don't I give you all a demonstration and prepare a dish? My treat. I'd love to repay this kindness. Uh, sure. Yang Kui, Yang Kui goes back into the kitchen and brings us a steam bowl of food. I don't, oh, I don't know how which, to say her name. It was our chili beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Ting Yun to our restaurant. <laughs> uh, awful stew? It's Ew. Spicy, it's sumptuous, awful. <laughs> and guaranteed to get the mouth watering. Not even a girl as refined as Ting Yun could resist the temptation. Oh, temptation, huh? Oh, oh, oh. I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Mr. Yen Ming said an Annie Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. And the Stargazer Navalia. Oh, I gotta go all the way over here. Are there any enemies over here? Well, there's something over there. I don't remember what that is. I've played this game so much, and I don't remember half of the shit just because that I've played so goddamn much of the same thing. Jake, you don't happen to be at the Stargazer Neval Nevalia right now, are you? Yes, I'm in Stargazer Nevalia. 
That's great. I saw on Psycrane system that you were nearby. There's an important task I need your help with. It's really urgent. Oh, God. The exalting Sanctum Sky Dome malfunction half an hour ago is probably caused by the unusual yin-yang uh, phenomenon from... Stop! Stop! I'm reading! I'm reading! I'm reading! I'm ar I've already informed the Cloud Knights to send reinforcements ASAP, but one second can mean the difference between life and death for this kind of thing. Can you folks please go take a look? You folks? Yes, Mr. Yang is also nearby. I've also contacted him. Oh. Well, then why are you contacting me, then, if you've already contacted him? Anyways, try to find a vantage point. Also, this office worker is a bit special. I implore you to both do everything in your power to save her life. Oh, god damn it. I gotta do this first. Damn it! I pressed the wrong button again. Hang on a minute. I'm going to deliver this gift first, and then I'll do whatever crazy thing that you want me to do. Yukong! I got something for you. I got a bow. What brings you here? We're here to pass on a gift from Miss Ting Yun. This bow. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? Absolutely. She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible I don't war. think of you as a piece of shit. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. The scars of that war never truly healed. This is a Still, very beautiful view, I will say that. out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging, like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. That's crazy Despite rising depressing. to Helmmaster, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant, always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice, even if she was my subordinate. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield, but in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the Guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. That's crazy. I used to think that the Xianzhou had changed with the times. I'm waiting for the, my act or like my actual town here, I guess the real world, to end up looking like this. I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be all of our futures. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out. Will I become useless to the Sienjo? The Sienjo needs people like me. Those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. Damn! Starskiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Starskiff. Wait! Wait, wait for me! What's up, dog? Miss Ting you Yun came just in time. For me. As a fellow ambassador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I... I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Mm. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. I bet it would. 
Damn, Ting Yun really touched some lives here. Soul Soothing Paper Kite. Okay, um, I do need to do that, but let me do this other mission real quick that I was told that I really, really need to get done. I need some help. Uh, hang on. The Skyfaring Commission sent a message saying that there was a star skiff crash in Stargazer Navalian. Hopes you can help rescue the victim. Well, it seems to be nearby. Hurry up and join him in searching for the victim. All right. Let's navigate to that first, and then we'll we'll finish this. Well, why can't you take care of this shit yourself? I have stuff to do. There's a treasure chest over here. Gate is locked. Hey, there's a little shithead right there. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh shit. A little fragmentum biash. Alright, how do I get up there? Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, let's teleport to this side real quick. And... Yep, there's another locked gate right there. Alright, so let's go down this way. Get some credits. Open the door. Through the steeple. Look out, world. I'm gonna frick your people. Yeah! Take that! Oh sure, shit, they're scared. Alright, let's me. defend. Commencing research. What are you looking at? Hey? Target threat index. Lord annihilate. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Mara struck healed. I want to protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Spark. Come on, we got this. We got this. We're gonna kick their ass. <laughs> the damn trotter is sitting there just struggling. Hayala! Oh shit. Oh, yeah, we almost got it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ha 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 Kicked your booty. It's just a part of the adventure. Kicked your booty. All right. Take care of that door lock. And now we're back over here. And you know what? Because this dude was staring at me funny. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Stupid ass. You thought you were going to stop me? The dice have been cast. Bust. Bust. Or maybe I, I, take it it's off. always funny to me when he says it like that. Bust. Spend freely. I want to protect everyone. Tell me, Mr. Sora. Come on, Clara. Research. Come. Honored to meet me. Yes. No, I'm Time not honored to meet you at all. Hide. Time to twirl. I hit the mark. Uh. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. There we go. Got my points back up. All these abominations are everywhere. Run! Open the door, open the door, open the door. Open the door, 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 door. Go, go, go. Oh shit, there's a stupid vast fish over there. That's crazy, I never unlocked any of this shit. Uh, okay, he's up there. Mm -hmm. Alright, I need to teleport over here. Is there really? Oh shit. Okay, enemy there. 
What a welt, like welt young. Distance. Miss Chiquie sent us a psy crane. See if you can get an aerial visual. This is an emergency. We need to find where the star skiff crashed as soon as possible. Connect the psy crane. Ooh, I get to be a psy crane. After interacting with the roost, you can start remotely controlling the psy crane. Psy cranes can fly, allowing them to reach areas that are inaccessible to characters. While in control of psy crane, you have the option to either ascend or descend as desired. Psy cranes can be used in different scenarios to accomplish various tasks. Nice! Oh, that's cool. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Identify. We found it. Looks like the pilot isn't inside. If they escaped before it came down, they should still be nearby. Mm. Lots of enemies down there. Where in the hell? Take it easy, Icarus. Where the hell would they be? Where is the victim? Nope, can't go that way. The victim's bound to be here somewhere. Oh, there they are! Psycrane is returning. There. That must be who Miss Shikwe asked us to save. We need to hurry. Those abominations have trapped her. Be careful. Yeah, those those stupid abomination dogs aren't gonna have anything against me. I'm gonna kick their booty. Uh, go. Yeah, teleport nearby. Teleport me nearby. Nope, get away from me. Open the door, open the door through the steeple. Come on! Hey, get out of here. It's too dangerous. Go get someone from the Sky Faring Commission. Tell them Ching Ni is in trouble. Nah, we got this. It's okay. We're Don't pretty worry, tough. Miss Ching Ni. We've been in worse danger. Yeah, we have. We have. Let's kick their booty holes. Are you alright? I'm okay. Do you know who I this big diamond? It's all yours. To travel far <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lynx. Stay back, Clara. Hedge your bets. Spend freely. Specimen's cut. Bada, and you are. Index. Look. Annihilate. Claire is the only powerful one on this team right now. No dirty tricks already. Are you all right? I'm okay. The dice have been bust. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Hiya. Goodbye. I want to protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Star. Oh shit. Sure, I'll play. Brought along. in a friend. Japa! How about that? Time to twirl! It should come back. Oh, Stay come back, on, Clara. come on. Watch your head. I need to be brave. <laughs> head, huh? Yes! Get out of there! Bye bye! See you later! There are too many monsters. Let's hold out for a little longer. The Cloud Knights should be here soon. Just run. These monsters can't get up here anytime soon. No kidding. Yeah, yeah but Chingni. we could just get We're rid of not them. Abandoning you. We're just gonna kick their ass. We won't leave you here. We're gonna kick you their two asses. Have held out long enough. Help is at hand. Hey, Yu Kong, you came by. Kick their ass. We're coming to get you. Ow. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's all yours. Ha ba da. Here, try this. Oh, I'll throw for you. Target threat in hide. Time to twirl. I want to protect everyone. Help me, Mr. Tora. 
Yeah, Mr. Sparag, help me. Time to twirl. I hit them. Spend freely. The dice have the bust. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh. Get out of here. Heal over time. Hiya! No! Get rid of that bitch. Sure. It's on me. Stay back, Clara. Time to twirl! Are you alright? I'm okay. Commencing research. Here, try this. How appropriate. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Whoppa! Eliminating front. Goodbye. Oh shit, there's more. Dirty tricks. I want to protect everyone. Help me, Mr. Sora. I should come back. Watch your head. Head your back. Spend freely. Shield everyone. I should come back. Time to twirl. All right. Time to twirl. <laughs> It's on me. The dice have been bust. Let's get rid of this little bastard. Goodbye. All right. Are you all right? I'm okay. To travel. Let's heal everyone. Get that done. Stay back, Clara. Target eliminating threat. Sure, I'll play a lot. Spend freely. Come on, come on. Shit! Stay back, Clara. Watch your head. Time to twirl! I want to protect everyone, too. Help me, Mr. Sora. Oh, yeah! Do you know who I am? Alright, get rid of them. We're almost done. We're almost done. Oh, okay. I didn't have enough skill points. Shit. After cleansing the area of the abomination, the Cloud Knights rescued the trapped girl. Yay! We we rescued someone. I didn't know the Yay! Of the Skyfaring Commission dealt with situations like this in person. Indeed, I should be reviewing files in the Palace of Astrum. However, Ching Ni decided to put herself in danger and trouble our esteemed guests with her safety. Oh shit. As her mother, I couldn't sit idly by. Her mother? Mother? Ching Ni, have you thanked your benefactors yet? Thank you, benefactors. Oh shit. No need, Miss Ching Ni. It was nothing. As easy as taking out the trash. The Astral Express Trailblazers have outstanding manners. So your allegories are a little odd. Shut up! I just saved your daughter. I didn't even know that was your daughter. I thought it was just some random girl that just showed up. It's like, oh, oh, she's in distress. Oh! By way of thanks, and I'm lagging again. To the palace of Astrum for tea. It is about time we knew each other better. The feeling is mutual, Lady Yukong. We would be honored. Nope, I got a funeral to go to. Nope, I don't have time for tea. Now I will excuse myself. Ching Ni's irresponsible actions caused much trouble for the two of you. Allow me to apologize once again on her behalf. Damn, calling her <sighs> the F do this, out. Mother. Scold me before figuring out what actually happened. Damn. It was a dire situation. I was the only one who could. You promised me, Ching Ni. We shall discuss this when we return. Damn. <sighs> Please excuse us, benefactors. I look forward to our meeting. That was crazy. I didn't know you that Kong was crazy. Had that side door. Uh, you mean a scary you mom said? A unique way of putting things. But you're not wrong. Appearances seemingly tell us little about the lives of the Sienjo's leaders, no matter how long those lives may have been. Yeah. Kong's inner worries and concerns came to the surface in the presence of her daughter. 
Only then was it clear that she, too, is somebody's mother. I feel like you relate to this a lot, Mr. Yang. Yes. After all, I know what it's like to worry over a kid's homework and whether their lunch is healthy enough. Oh, really? You but do, something huh? something I don't understand. Yes, Ching Yi piloted a star skiff without permission and put herself in danger, but she meant well. Nevertheless, Yu Kong's reaction suggests that there was something more. Anyway, let's head over to the Palace of Astrum. Best not to keep Yu Kong waiting. I don't want to drink tea! I got a- I got a freaking funeral! We don't have no, to get there early, right? right? We've been all right. Yeah. God damn it! Son of a bitch. I got a funeral to go to. Stupid. Alright, let's go over here, have some tea real quick, and then I'm gonna get back to my thing. <laughs> so stupid! Rest while you can, and gather your strength. My headset almost fell off. Alright, let, let's get on in hell. We'll get on in home in the hall. Now the Palace of Astrum. Palace of Astrum. Why won't you listen to me? Why won't you listen to me? Because it's my life! Damn. Uh-oh. Family feud. You know I have the talent to make it. I can become the Lawfu's best pilot. Just like you were. Talent. Apparently not. You'd be dead if it weren't for those two travelers. Do you think stealing a star skiff and taking to the skies is a show of talent? What about being trapped by abominations? Damn! Did you at any moment think about what I would feel if something happened to you? Nope. Do you know how many Teenagers people don't dream do that. <laughs> of a relaxing desk job at the Skyfaring Commission? You promised me to work responsibly in your post. Not only have you broken the Skyfaring Commission's regulations, you've broken your promise to me. I already told you. I had no choice. I want to help you and the Skyfaring Commission, not sit at my desk dealing with never-ending papers. That job doesn't suit me. I got the highest grade in the fighter pilot test. They all said I was a genius like you. Like mother, like daughter. They were all jealous of me. But no one even knew I had to take the test behind your back. You would never have allowed me to go if I told you about it. Probably not. Behind my back. Do you really think you could have walked into the test and sat in the cockpit if I hadn't given my permission behind the scenes? As for genius. Don't mention that word to me again. <laughs> oh, shit. You insist on becoming a pilot. Don't understand. And I don't understand why you don't understand. Why can anyone in the world become a fighter pilot except the Hellmaster's daughter? Don't you realize how ridiculous that is? You may not want to fly anymore, but don't trap me down here with you. But, Chingni! Where are you going? Well, yeah, you, you upset her and now she's gonna run away. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to witness this. Apologies, Madam Yukong. We should have given you some time. Uh, yes, apologies. On the contrary. Sorry, I'm also I trying to figure out some stuff. I'm gonna ask questions. Matters to encroach on your time. We don't intend to pry into private business, Hellmaster Yukong. But if there's anything we can help with, please don't hesitate to ask. Family issues. I'm yeah, afraid. you you want us to you smack the shit out of your daughter, tell her to calm now. down. I'll do it. Despite my earnest Just wish kidding. that she continue her that. post. I'll have Mr. Welt do that. Fixated on becoming a fighter pilot. I may seem overpairing, but. The situation she gets herself into sent a shiver up my tail. Damn. It's funny, isn't it? I've seen every disaster imaginable, from the Abundance Axis to a living planet. I thought I'd forgotten what fear was. But when I fought alongside you, I realized there are still things that can terrify me. I'm sorry. Talking about such vexing matters is unbecoming in front of guests. 
I invited you here to gain a better understanding of the Express. I'll bore you with these trivialities. <laughs> well, you failed real bad because I now you're boring. Refreshments me. for you. Please, you must try this excellent whale tide spring. What the hell, whale tide spring? What the hell is that? Thing, though things didn't get off to a great start, everyone enjoyed the meeting. I'm glad. Please accept these gifts as thanks for saving my daughter. I had heard that the Nameless had traversed the Starry Sea, but I wasn't prepared for how much I could learn from you. Well, yeah, you can learn I a lot from me. From I've I've been the around the block a time or two. You were a top tier pilot, Madam Yukong, and an ace among the Cloud Knights. Now that I've seen you in action. I know the rumors were true. I hope to witness your flying ability for myself one day. Me too. I want to see it. We'll head I want to see now. you fly. The commission must be fly busy. like an eagle. I look forward to our next meeting, Madam Yukong. <laughs> On my flying ability, I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you, Mr. Yang. The sky no longer suits me. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. Leave the palace. Okay, that's my next mission is to leave. <laughs> All right, can we get back to the funeral now? I want to get back to the funeral. Funeral! Oh, there's the daughter. You too. Please wait. Okay. <sighs> Thank you for saving me, benefactors. And I'm sorry you had to witness all that. Uh, it's a parent-child relationship. You shouldn't have talked like that to your mother. Uh, so I, I'm not gonna tell her how to be with her mother. Uh-uh. That's great. That's a bad I idea. Mean, I'm happy I finally found someone who can understand me. But I've had the hairpin ceremony. I'm an adult now. I have the right that, to That doesn't mean dreams. anything. That's your mother. She's going to always Mom worry about you no matter what. sheltering me under her wing. As if I can't even stay alive without her. Yeah, because she's an overprotective mother. That's what they do. That's what <sighs> mothers do. Jeannie, it's fine. These are family matters. I'm not sure it's my place to comment. However, in my personal experience... Well, well, shut up. Shut up. Becoming a parent often means we become obstinate. To erode a rock, one must be patient and persistent, like water. What I mean to say is, instead of trying to prove yourself suddenly, perhaps you could demonstrate your ability to look after yourself methodically over time. Don't you think, Miss Chingy? I don't think I have the qualifi qualifications to advise here when it comes to family stuff. I leave it to Mr. Yang. My yep. mom is yep. actually I, I a stay reasonable out of it. person. I stay out of it. she gets unreasonable as soon as I mention flying. Because she doesn't want you to do that. She's being overprotective. She hid. It's not that hard. Toys. Dragged me away from the port when I stayed behind to count ships. Forced me to study for ages. <laughs> I did everything I could to work my way into the Skyfaring Commission. But she used her authority to assign me a desk job. Yeah. <sighs> that sounds about right. Every time I walk along Star Watcher Avenue and look up at those ships flying freely across the sky, I feel empty inside. It's fine. Time will pass, and then you'll realize the desk job is actually Speaking the of right empty job. Inside, so, how were Mom's refreshments? Good? Uh. Yes, the aroma was I've incredible. I'm so angry today. I forgot to eat anything. Well, go eat something. <laughs> How quit, about quit this? Being dumb. My mom thanked you guys with refreshments, so I should do the same. Let me take you around Starskip Haven. We can try the most authentic snack on the Lafu. I have a funeral to get to. I don't care. Uh, to help clear her mind. I've never uh, attended a memorial. Yeah. No. No. We're, we're gonna go to the... Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the memorial because, no. I don't care! I don't care! Navigate! Yes! Teleport! To the star skiff. We're gonna go up here because I really need to finish this. And then, and then we'll talk more. Daughter of Queen Yukong, whatever. All right, uh, investigate. Place all the items hmm. there. Out of all this stuff we've got, 
What do you think we should place on the star skiff? All of it. Put all of it there. Um. Uh, the amicassiter seal, the tea named after her favorite dish, the soul soothing paper kite. Uh, let's just let, let's put the this tea is named the tea after. This the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. Mhm. Mm uh, the amicassiter seal. Thank you for everything you've done for the Skyfaring Commission and the Luo Fu. This small seal is the foundation of the Xianzhou's prosperity. Am I just gonna end up putting all of it on there? Her favorite this is dish. A gift from Miss Yansue on behalf of all Yansue, the okay. I, I didn't you know how to say to her name. This. And the kite. This time we needn't compete. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. Bye bye. Bye bye. Fly to other distant worlds. Bye bye. No. I will seek out the truth, and if it is discovered that you were taken from us. I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul Yeah, you do. Ceremony. You do some work on it. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven. Mm, okay. Starskiff Haven. Yeah, we're we're going to go right here. <laughs> Get some rest while you can, and gather your st Oh wow. That's crazy. That's cool though. General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Yep, Not take a yet. rest. I have things I wish to convey to my astral friends. Oh, we're my friends now? I couldn't get Yay! To I've always wanted to be friends Yen with you. Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. Uh, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? No, he won't. Uh, I'd like some free real estate, please. You're too kind. Please. Let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. We gotta go somewhere else? Why couldn't you just give me the gifts now? What the hell? Oh, and we're back over here where we started. Would you like me to relay your message? Uh, yeah, I wanna enter. I want to enter the seat of divine foresight. I'm here. What what, what gifts do you have? Get get give me gifts. Present I want gifts. Gathered to reiterate the I want CNJ stuff to sell on what not. Esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the nameless. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Thank Therefore, you. on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus. That's three D printed of our allied friendship. Yay! I like symbols. Uh, Jade Abacus. Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath. Etching the record into a jade abacus, the world may crumble and the heavens may fall, but this oath shall never be broken. That's crazy. The same is true of this jade abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the jade abacus here in my hand. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew. Yay! Your need may be. That's wow. awesome. Now I befriended all the Cloud Knights. That's awesome. <clears throat> of course, 
I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Oh, well, yeah, just don't, yep, don't call it. unless you absolutely Say need no it. no more. Sure thing. Thank you for your generosity, General. Don Hong. Uh-oh. Don General. Hong, you're in trouble. In accordance with the Edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the law food. Wow! You're allowed here again! Nice! That's awesome. But I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fung have had far-reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. Mm. While I can guarantee people your still freedom don't like to come him, and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Oh my god. Um, no, I don't want poetry, no! ...by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. Oh, and now it's raining again. I just looked outside and it's raining all over again. It stopped earlier. All right, plan for the future after discussions with your companions. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go and talk to, uh, what what's her name real quick and get that mission completed since I'm already there. Oh God, I got a lot of stuff to, hang on a minute. What did I achieve here? Claim. Cool. All right. Interstellar guide. Claim. Boom shakalaka. All right. Missions. Uh... Uh... Where where did that mission go? Oh, all about Tamilla again. Where did that mission go? Oh, me. Oh, okay. Yeah, me, her daughter. Yeah, let, let's let's go over there. Let's go ahead and finish this since I already got it started. Gather your strength. I already. I'm already all rested. My strength is fine. Uh, vending machine. <laughs> We're here. The thing about the most authentic snack on the Cien Jilafu is it's a drink. And it's inside this vending machine. Mm, wow, the full five-star treatment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't have the money for anything fancy. Here. Uh. Mung Bing Soda. One can each. I already got that earlier. This thing has a bit of a unique flavor, but I love it. Let me try. Hmm. A nostalgic experience. A nostalgic experience. Oh. Is there a drink like this where you're from? No. Is, is no. it poo poo this water? Reminds me of when I first boarded the express and forced myself to drink Himiko's coffee. Uh -huh. And how my taste buds never fully recovered. <laughs> Her coffee sucks how ass. Is it? Bearable? Oh, uh, wretch. Anyone have a bucket? Are you sure you're not angry at us for rescuing you? Rescuing you? Uh, delicious. Whoa! <laughs> I've never met a traveler who could down a mung bean soda like that. Oh. But I guess not well, everyone can accept what I You don't like. know me, then. <sighs> Just like flying. Well, don't force yourself. Let's go somewhere else. Ooh, I know a really great place in Starskip Haven to Starskip Watch. Jesus Christ. Fine. Yep. Oh, ah! I didn't mean to do that! 
I keep pressing the goddamn E button. All right, what's going on over here? We're gonna go star skip watching. <laughs> you know there are a lot of that is really cool looking soda moments in life. If you don't try, you won't know. Unique experiences are often a product of risky choices. <laughs> that is true. Tell that to my mom. Her number one life lesson is you can't turn back once you enter the sky. Pilots are always dancing with death. I know she's right. I know being a fighter pilot is an exhausting and dangerous job. But I still want to fly among the stars. To fight for the Sienjo Alliance across the vast galaxy. You'll Why get there someday. Why are you so dedicated to that idea, Miss Chingney? Have you heard of the Foxy and Birth Fate tradition? Soon after a child is born, we surround them with items that represent future destinies. If the child reaches for a Jade Abacus, then they'll grow up to be a Diviner. If they reach for a sword, then they'll grow up to be a famous warrior. And if they reach for a toy star skiff, they'll become a toy salesman. <laughs> they'll become a star skiff pilot. So you reach for the star skiff. No, not me. <laughs> My genius mom did. Oh. Mom reached for the star skiff and showed a natural talent for flying. General Jing Yuan recruited that's her crazy the that as soon that's as a way to figure out what your child is gonna do whenever they get older that's wild that's how she became a fighter pilot later she achieved miracles one time she destroyed three beast ships in a hail of recent anti-aircraft fire that's crazy like I've seen one of those before a thunderstorm she also holds the skyfaring Commission records for speed and enemy vessels destroyed I'm proud to be Madame Yupong's daughter I wanted to become a legend like her for as long as I can remember. And she won't let you. Imagine. That's bullshit. A parent is often a child's first hero, and their image can influence their whole life. <sighs> she never told me any of those stories herself. And she hasn't piloted a star skiff since the third Denizens of Abundance War. She doesn't even bring up her military achievements. Wow. I used to watch her fly when I was young. <laughs> then one time, I stole a star skiff and I tried all kinds of difficult maneuvers. Turns out I was as talented as she was. Not only did I survive the flight, my landing was perfect. And she won't let I you remember fly? Feeling so happy Jesus. When they took me to see my mom. There I was boasting about the flight, expecting her to laugh, pat my head, say that's my girl, or something. But boy. I've never seen her so scary. <laughs> I admit, I deserve to be punished. You can't let a kid get away with stealing a star skiff. But my mom was angry about more than that. She was angry because I viewed her as a role model. Hmm. Because I had the same talent as her. I don't understand it. Parents never want their children to be in danger. I think I can understand, Madam Yukong. Yeah, that's but probably what it is. Flying is the only thing I want to do. I've already touched the sky. That doesn't mean that she wants you to do it. Uh oh. That's a hell of a vibration it's on the Secretary phone. Secretary Miss Sequay. She just sent me a message. Mom lost one of her trinkets in Stargazer Navalia when she came to save me. Miss Sequay suggested I find the trinket and return it to Mom. Said it might help me get back in her good books. In Stargazer Navalia? Hmm. Let's go with you and have a look. Is it really okay to bother you two again? Uh, our way of saying thanks for the mung <sighs> bean soda. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Please don't mention the mung bean soda again. I said I liked it. Now she's saying don't mention it. Oh my god. You're you're so dumb. You're 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 just so dumb. For I have touched the sky. All right, let's go find her little trinket. 
her little trinket stupid thing. Uh, where's the trinket? Where's the trinket? Where's the trinket? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! No, don't hurt me! Oh. Uh, hiya! Let's go find the trinket. Why is it all the way over here? <sighs> the fight with the abominations was pretty chaotic. I think Mom's trinket would have dropped around here. Do you know what it looks like, Miss Chingney? <sighs> Let me think. It's got. It looks this like a little square area. thing. Isn't combat my expertise? So. All right. Let's let's find it. Let's get this god dang bird. Where is it? Oh, is this it? Shit, I didn't search it properly. No, stop. Now, what is that? Come on, are you kidding? It's a trinket, remember? Oh, well, it told me to identify. Do you think my mom would carry this with her? Probably. A bird cage. Huh, that reminds me. Have you guys heard of the birds that live in the Everhunt Plains? They have beautiful feathers, but you can't domesticate them. They don't live long if you lock them in a cage. Makes uh. sense. How could a bird that's known the sky live in a cage? Is that it? Aha! My Found mama it. Always carries this trinket around with her, but I never realized there was something inside. Is this the hunt crest? Uh, I don't get it. I don't know what the hunt this crest is. This is what pilots hang in their star skiff cockpits for good luck. It must be very close to Helmmaster Yukong's heart. Let's head back, Miss Chingney. I think you should return this trinket in person. This is an opportunity for the two of you to talk. Yeah, it uh, is. Not yet. I want to go back later. There's something I hope- if Oh my you god! you want us to help you persuade your mother, I'm afraid that could be difficult. <sighs> no. You missed that. What turned it? My mom. I think General G. <laughs> I'm tired of her talking. Help. Leave it to us. <laughs> Leave it to us. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not doing it right now. I already got this far. I don't give a shit now. Head to the seat of the divine foresight. I have to go there anyway. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna do it anyway. Since I'm already there. <laughs> uh. Would you like me to relay your message? Yep, I'm gonna go. Jing, Jing Wan, about Yukong's past. Mr. Yang, and you. It, it's Yukong. I, I want to know, wanna know we, about her Yukong, past. Yukong, but naturally, if you wish to. Be. Uh, Ching Ni's the memories. Ching -ni. If I were to you call she. All right, that's cool, comrade. Yes, the legend of both <laughs> is hard to. Uh, divine arrow embers. Uh, Ching this gave it to she us. Thought this up, I'm sure. Thirty years. We were great at the rainbow. Such to you, Kong. Awesome. I don't have any other. I do not. However, perhaps it is. Thank you, General. Thank you, General. Mister Yet. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna find her. I'm. I'm gonna go talk to my friends now. All right. Himiko messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gate's reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. Well, let's go. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himiko must be eager to hear. I want to go back to the train. I want to go back to the Express. Right? Let's do it. Let's go back. Uh, I don't want to be here no more. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sienjo? We can always come back later. We can come back later. Uh, I have to visit some of the friends we made along the way. I don't want to visit the friends. Uh, I don't I've think got so. I goldfish memory. We haven't had a chance to say goodbye to everyone we met. I don't want this to. Trip. I don't want to. I want to leave. Fine. fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the express. The two of you come back soon, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Yang. 
I don't want to talk to anyone! I want to leave. All right, let, let's let's go to the express. Yep, let's go talk to Himiko and tell her that we're ready. There's a dreamlike quality to watching these star skiffs depart through the Jade Gate. How long will these ships sail, and which stars are they traveling to? All of them. From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. Couldn't have said it better myself. Didn't know you were a poet, Mr. Yang. Yeah, you're back. Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. Mm -hmm. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. Yay! All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Next oh, yeah? time, I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Well, can stay on the express. Ooh, Himiko is gonna help me next. Nice. <laughs> Since when did the work roster just change like that? I want Himiko to help me. What's our next stop? I think I know what it's gonna be. Penaconi. Do you yep. remember? Before Kafka's proposal, that was our original destination. Uh, I, I remember. The family is throwing a banquet there, and they sent invitations out to the express. I was curious about the state of the planet, so I accepted. When the conductor is ready, we can set off for the next stop. Cool! Meanwhile in the Shackling pri- what? What happened in the Shackling prison? <clears throat> who are All you? All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? Oh, it's- oh, <laughs> Neither. yeah. I'm merely- uh... Lost yeah, I, I remember this dude. Don Hung was spectacle. helping him. The Stellaron, the Ambrosial Arbor, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. A series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. They who brought the Stellaron onto the Sienjo, what Wait. was their motive? <laughs> Did he bring the Stellaron? Did he help Surrender, bring the Stellaron? Or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yausher. General, oh. my power does indeed stem from the abundance. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yausher. <laughs> That's right, Jing Wen. <laughs> Stay out of our way. The revival of the Kafka is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to Who lose. Who is this? And this time... Who are you? We will put the abundance Whoa. in their grave. Oh, that, that, that was creepy. Yay! We finished it! G1 has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across him when you return to the Express. Hell yes! The sound and the fury. Long day's journey into night. Alright, cool. That's the next one. That's the next one. That's the part where we go to Pentaconi. But I'm not gonna do it right now because that's gonna take forever. And I, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do it right now. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do some offline stuff for a little bit and then do a really long video of Pinnacone, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and get off this video because we finished Zian Zhou. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys appreciate the video or at least like the video. If so, like the video, subscribe, press the bell, become a member if you want to. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Nice. Bye!